Navigating the complexities of admission regulations can be difficult and demanding for Americans when traveling to other countries. A survey of the top 10 nations that are most difficult for Americans to visit reveals the additional complexity of visa procedures and geopolitical factors. Some countries are distinguished by their strict regulations and unique obstacles, which range from diplomatic disputes to embargoes that date back decades. Every nation on this list has its own set of difficulties, making travel not just logistically difficult but also diplomatically delicate. North Korea is at the top of the list. A travel ban imposed by the Trump administration forbids most Americans from making personal trips to this mysterious and tightly controlled country, which is known for its stringent tourism laws and complicated visa application procedures ranging from Saudi Arabia's long-standing ban on tourist visas to Iraq's difficult visa application process in the midst of ongoing geopolitical tensions. These difficulties and manages to strike a careful balance between promoting foreign travel and attending to security issues. It is clear from delving into the nuances of each nation's admission criteria that traveling to these places calls for cautious thought and adherence to constantly changing diplomatic landscapes. The tenth step on the list is particularly difficult for Americans. Even before the conflict with Ukraine, there were strict rules in place for entry into Russia. Before arriving, Americans had to obtain a visa, which required obtaining an invitation letter from a national. The subsequent visa application was lengthy and required a detailed account of the applicant's background, including a list of countries visited in the previous 10 years, employment history, education, and even membership in professional organizations. The goal of this multi-layered procedure was to guarantee that guests were thoroughly screened before being allowed access. Geopolitical tensions and the diplomatic environment probably played a role in these strict regulations. Russia is among the nations with the strictest regulations for American visitors, which has an impact on how easy and accessible it is to travel to. The recent conflict with Ukraine has further complicated the situation making it even more difficult for Americans to consider Russia as a travel destination. As the ninth country on the list, Bhutan offers special difficulties for American tourists because, in contrast to most other nations, it lacks an embassy of any type in the U.S., making the visa application process even more difficult. The visa application process for Americans is not too complicated, but they must go through a travel agency. Because of this, there are only a limited number of visas available, which makes travel to Bhutan exclusive, despite the fact that the process for applying for a visa may not be as complicated as in some other countries on the list. The requirement to work with a tour agency adds a level of logistical coordination that may be seen as a barrier to entry. Nevertheless, this novel policy helps maintain a balance between allowing visitors to experience Bhutan's unique culture and safeguarding the country from over-tourism. Eighth has historically presented difficulties for U.S. tourists because of strained diplomatic relations. Even though the complete prohibition on U.S. individuals traveling to Iran has been abolished, the procedure is still complicated. Prior to getting a visitor visa, travelers must obtain a travel authorization number. It is important to note that solo travel within the country is illegal and requires cooperation with a guide. The process has been made easier by the thawing of ties, but it is still complicated. The first step is to secure a travel permission number, and then you need to obtain the visitor visa itself. The need for controlled tourism is further highlighted by the guide's engagement during the trip. These steps are intended to resolve security issues, promote pleasant relationships, and guarantee visitors have a regulated and supervised experience. Overall, compared to many other destinations, visiting Iran is more difficult for Americans due to the numerous formalities and the need for supervised travel. Seven presents some difficulties for American travelers, especially with the visa application procedure. Although India is a well-liked travel destination because of its rich cultural experiences, getting into the country requires more than just getting off an airplane and chatting with customs officials. 
Americans who are planning a visit must apply for visas well in advance. For those who are traveling for work, additional documentation such as an employment contract, a letter from the employer, and other relevant documents are required. Even for tour tourists, the application process requires them to provide detailed information about the details of their trip. While the process is manageable, the goal is to guarantee that visitors have a valid reason for entering the nation and to enable easier entry and stay. India is different from other places where American travelers might enter with less stringent requirements because it requires extensive documentation and pre-approval. Having to obtain a government-approved letter of invitation, which is effectively a form of sponsorship and serves to limit the number of people entering the nation, is number six on the list of presence barriers for American visitors. This can be a difficult process. Getting this invitation is a more practical course of action than the alternatives. Some people try to obtain transit visas, which permit them to enter the nation without staying for a long time, but many embassies refuse to give them. As a result, taking the correct procedures to obtain a legitimate tourist visa becomes essential. The government's participation in the invitation process is indicative of Turkmenistan's attempts to control tourism. Maybe in an effort to minimize the effects on the nation's infrastructure and resources as a whole. Compared to locations with simpler visa procedures, the letter of invitation requirement adds a layer of bureaucracy that makes the admission process more difficult for American travelers. The difficult visa application process for number five, which necessitates a great deal of patience and comprehensive documentation, is underlined. Visitors from the United States must complete a lengthy paperwork process, which includes proving their flights, a plea agreement and a bank statement attesting to your financial stability. In essence, the plea document is a letter that the visitor uses to explain why they are in the country and may even include contacts or references. The meticulous record-keeping criteria are intended to keep some degree of control over the quantity and kind of visitors, while also guaranteeing that they have a valid cause for entry. While the specifics of the documentation may differ, the process as a whole is distinguished by its complexity and the requirement for a thorough application. It's important to keep in mind that some of these requirements may change, so visitors should keep up to date on any modifications to the entry requirements for Eritrea. Cuba, ranked number four, is complicated for Americans traveling there because of previous trade restrictions and embargoes. Although there are certain exceptions, official American tourism to Cuba is still prohibited and deemed illegal. The trade embargo that was imposed in 1958 for both business and pleasure travel is the main cause of Americans' inability to travel there for tourists. Americans may travel under 12 different categories, with the exception of conventional tourism, but they must apply for a travel license indicating the reason for their visit. In addition, a Cuba tourist card visa is needed to enter the country. Although these limits let Americans travel to Cuba for specified reasons, they also show how historical diplomatic tensions still have an impact today. Tourists should be informed on the requirements for a specific travel license, a valid visa, and the restrictions on what may be done while visiting. It's also important to bring cash because US dollars cannot be exchanged in Cuba, and some establishments may not accept American customers. Saudi Arabia, which is ranked third, has historically presented difficulties for American tourists because there were few tourist visas available, and most of them were only granted for people traveling to Mecca on religious pilgrimages. As a result, American tourists had few opportunities to visit the nation. However, since Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was elected, significant changes have taken place. Saudi Arabia began granting visitation rights to citizens of the United States and other nations, which signified a significant change in the country's stance on tourism and international guests. The Saudi government's efforts to diversify its economy and boost tourism as part of the Vision 2030 project are reflected in the expansion of visitation rights, which also present new opportunities for American travelers. Travelers should stay informed about the most recent developments and regulations for visiting Saudi Arabia, 
Because the country's accessibility to U.S. residents may change in the future due to the continual evolution of the country's policies and the geopolitical landscape. Iraq came in second place and presents serious travel problems for Americans due to long-standing animosity and geopolitical tensions between the U.S. and Iraq. Traveling personally to Iraq is a difficult task. In order to obtain a visa, travelers must go through an application process that includes providing their passport, driver's license, a letter outlining their intended visit, and the required payment. Usually, a copy of the original passport must also be sent. However, there have been cases where applications have been arbitrarily denied by embassy officials, even after travelers have submitted all required paperwork. Furthermore, given the unpredictable security environment in Iraq and the possibility of violence and instability, many travelers may decide not to go there given the combination of the country's strict visa application procedures potential for arbitrary denials and security concerns. Iraq is one of the nations that Americans would find especially difficult to travel to for private purposes. Before scheduling any journey to Iraq, visitors are strongly encouraged to weigh the risks and remain up to date on the latest developments in the country. The U.S. government issued a travel ban to North Korea during the Trump administration, which applied to anyone with an American passport. Although the U.S. State Department may make special exceptions, personal travel to North Korea for U.S. citizens is generally prohibited prior to the travel ban. Prior to the travel ban, personal visits were permitted under certain conditions, such as being on contract with a North Korean guide. North Korea is ranked as one of the most difficult countries for Americans to visit. Due to this restriction, independent traveler exploration of the nation was hindered with a focus on regulated and guided travel. There is uncertainty over whether the travel ban to North Korea will be repealed in the future. But the limitations on travel highlight the country's isolation and stringent entry requirements. The situation may change, so it's critical to stay up to date on the most recent events surrounding travel to North Korea. Visitors are strongly advised to abide by government guidelines and laws, since trying to enter the country without the necessary authorization can have significant implications. We appreciate you joining us as we explore the world's travel problems. If you found this adventure interesting, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share for more information about international travel places. Keep checking back as we reveal more amazing subjects in our next videos, which will cover a wide range of intriguing subjects. Think of yourself as a member of our family and don't miss any of our fascinating stuff. Subscribe and stay in touch as we go on a journey of discovery together.